When we get a domestic violence case, I reach out to the victim right away. It's important to build that trusting relationship between our office and the victim because it increases the likelihood that they'll want to participate in the prosecution of their abuser. When I speak to a victim, I ask them several questions. That includes whether they received medical treatment or not from the incident, whether they want a protective order or not. If they do want a protective order, I explain to them what a protective order does and doesn't do. I ask them if the defendant's family has been harassing them. I ask if the defendant has been calling them from jail or harassing them. I ask if they may need any sort of resource in the area that may include emergency shelters such as Safe Harbor. I guide them through the court process and explain to them what they should expect in order to make it a little less intimidating. Many times our victims do not want to participate in the prosecution of their abusers. This could be for many reasons. The defendant may have been harassing them or threatening them, or it would put a financial strain on the family. Maybe the defendant is the only one that works. Oftentimes there's also children involved and the victim may want to keep the family together. And finally, the victim does love the defendant at the end of the day, in most case scenarios, and they just want the abuse to stop. I'm here to ensure victims that we're not here to tear their family apart, but rather we're trying to help them and we are here for them.